What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and our third installment of the Innov 120, the do-it-yourself micro FPV brushless racer. I took it out a couple of days in a row yesterday and the other day and this thing has been giving me some problems with some flip of death. Uh, I did make a couple of more changes to this baby here. I did put a XT 30 connector thinking maybe that is the reason why and we're going to test it out one more time so here's a couple of clips of it doing some flips of death with the 2s awesome all right let's go and do a punch out i can hear kind of squeaking noises coming out of the quadcopter from the motors motors are pretty fairly tight there there those squeaking noises all right let's do another punch out full on all right whoa 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 oh man let's do a little punch out though Okay, it has a slight veering to the right. It kind of veered to the right a little bit. Let's check it out one more time. Whoa! Okay, we got a problem now. All right, so uh, Frequent Flyer also mentioned something about these props. These props came uh, and it was just about touching the frame so i had to use a fingernail clipper to cut it so that it will clear uh, i don't know why they give you some props that are just about to hit the frame and uh, he says something about he used these props and it was giving him flips of death maybe these props are drawing too much amps or something so that is the reason why it's been giving us flips of death but uh, he also mentioned that he's got some quad blades, 2535 King Kong quad blades, and that is working out for him, I guess. Uh, he has a couple of videos in his channel. Uh, I'll leave a link down below so you guys can check it out. I'm pretty sure you guys are already subscribed to that dude. So, but anyway, check it out. Um, I'm going to, however, don't have those 2535 quad bladed props today um, so uh, he just mentioned it this morning so I'm going to go ahead and give this another test flight uh, I got some uh, converter connector for the 2s battery and I'm going to directly connect it to the XT30 with the 3s battery so let's go ahead and check it out and see if it solves the problem or do I still have flips of death with this baby here all right we are connected ready to go so let's go ahead and arm this baby here what i've also done in beta flight config is i turned off the motor stop so hopefully uh, that kind of helps out in the flip of death so when i arm it even in angle mode the motors will arm itself and start spinning so let's go ahead and check it out now i've done a couple of fpv flights with this thing yesterday and it flew very well but once you start punching it, it does give you that flip of death. So I don't want to punch it too much. <laughs> I'm kind of afraid that it will do a flip of death. But let's go ahead and try a slow punch. Oh. Nope. It will still do a flip of death. So I'm going to go ahead and try a three s battery and see if that makes any difference i kind of caught it while it was falling so let's go ahead and test that out all right we got a 3s battery i got the 350 milliamp gmb battery attached to it so let's go ahead and check it out it's got a lot more power with the 3s wow oh my god it's got tons of power with a 3S. All right, let's see if it does a flip of death. Let's do a slow punch out. Nope, it does not do a flip of death with the 3S battery. All right, so I'll be flying this thing with the 3S battery from now on. Let's do a full out punch out. There you go. 
it was still kind of timid guys I, I didn't push it all the way to the top <laughs> in the back of my mind I'm still afraid that it will do a flip of death I guess okay this time full on there you go no flip of death all right we can fly this thing now all right let's bring it in flip it over to acro nice and I must say these jumper remote is just amazing you can fly just about anything man these props are so huge that it's got so much lift there's a little bit of oscillations I got my parameters in the PID department very low very smooth okay so far so good no flip of death even on the flips there we go I think we are good so we are going to go ahead and bring it in and try our luck with some FPV goggles 3S of course okay you gotta turn off the motor yeah it's pretty hard with this remote control I'm usually used to the arming and disarming switch right on the top here and it's over here and I usually put my index finger right here and I just turn it off so I gotta remember to put my index finger here so I can go ahead and just turn it off like so all right here we go crossing my fingers checking it out with the 3S battery so let's go ahead and check it out and I did solder my VTX antenna back put another drop of solder to connect the outside wire because it got dislodged sort of on that flip of death so let's go ahead and check it out I can hear a little bit of oscillations but that is fine and my battery voltage has already been dropped down to 10.5 and less. So obviously this battery is not going to do very well. I'm not getting any snow or anything upon throttling up. So the VTX antenna is on there okay I'm thinking. So let's go ahead and bring it in. And because I'm using the jumper remote and even with a D8 receiver, I'm confident to go beyond the 100 meters. There's a little bit of snow here and there. Because this thing's got 150 milliwatt output power. So you are able to take it a little further than if I were to have bound it to my Tyrannus. So let's go ahead and bring it in and see if I can put in a better battery. All right, Oop, flipped over. All right, once again, another FPV flight with the Inov 120. And this time around, I got a 550 milliamp 3S battery, GMB. So let's go ahead and check it out. This thing's got more than enough power to lift a little bit bigger size battery. Yeah. My throttle is right around at my goodness at 55 60 percent so we got tons of power and looks like this battery has good voltage here so let's go ahead and check it out okay no static on throttle up oh this thing flies really really nice though man there's a little bit of flutter yeah, some oscillations happening. We need to fix that problem. But so far, it is doing all right. No flip of death. 
Maybe these props need to be changed. Oh, it's got great control. Minus some of the prop wash and oscillations. Pretty decent though. Alright, been flying for about two minutes with the 550 milliamp. Still doing okay. So far so good. We still got a little bit of flight time left. Yeah, a little bit of flutter there. All right, so we figured it out. We need to fly this thing with 3S and with a XT30. And we have no problems. All right, so far so good. Two minutes and 30 seconds and the voltage on the battery is still good. I'm still getting a little bit of snow here and there but I think it's maybe just redirection on the quadcopter. Check it out. I'm going all the way to this side of the field with a D8 receiver. Yeah, this jumper remote is just fantastic, I think. All right. All right, voltage is going down. Let's go ahead and land this baby here. Got to get my index finger situated to this arm. Okay, just going to disarm right here. All right, so that is our final test flight with the 3S battery on the Inov 120. All right, just got done checking out the Inov 120 for the third day test flying it and on the first day it gave me a flip of death I kind of uh, tweaked some stuff in beta flight and I thought I got it figured out and on the second day uh, it still gave me the flip of death all over the place and today we have finally figured out what was the problem it is the 2S battery so obviously with this quadcopter and with these props you are not able to fly this thing with the 2S battery. It'll give you a flip of death no matter what kind of uh, settings you do in beta flight. And even I changed it over to the XT30 and used the converter connector to fly it with a JST connector 2S battery. Maybe a 2S battery with a JST connector might work better, but you know what? I'm not even gonna go there because I know now that it flies great with the 3S battery. I used the 350 and 550. They both work fantastic. So now I know I'm going to only fly this baby with the 3S battery with these props. Now, I also have the Leader 120 here with me so I can kind of do a little comparison side to side. Check it out. It is just about identical. Comes with different kind of props. And I've been flying my Leader 120 with this 2S battery and I had no problems with it. Comes with a JST connector. I never needed to change over to the XT30 because I've never had that flip of death problem. And you know, my 3S batteries also come with a JST connector as well. So I've been flying it with the 3S with these type of batteries and no problem at all. But with this one, Maybe it's just these props, who knows? Uh, all of the settings I've done, I uh, brought it back down. Uh, even the, uh, the battery values, I brought it down. So trying to avoid the flip of death. And I did increase my idle speed a little bit as well in the config tab, but I wasn't able to increase it too much because it did not want to come back down <laughs> to the ground once I got it up in the air with the 3S. On the 2S with the uh, idle speed, uh, high I was able to fly it around but once you put that 3s man 
that idle speed plays a big role and you are not able to bring it back down once you go up in the air it takes a while anyways so i'll be flying this baby here with the 3s battery not that bad at all and with this one here gave me about three minutes of flight time and with this one here probably give me about two minutes of flight time i use the t8sg jumper remote just a fantastic fantastic remote so cheap it's only about 60 something dollars and you are able to fly any type of quadcopter it's got tons of protocols so just a fantastic fantastic uh transmitter and of course flown it with my head play se goggles and did the uh, recording on the onboard dvr so they're just a fantastic fantastic combination so there you have it guys that is my review and test flight and build on this series of the inov 120 thank you so much for tuning in and watching have a great day and we'll see you again next time Creative imagination began to become a new hard work.